Hello my friends, welcome to the Movie Mad channel once again. I'm going to turn the camera around and then we'll get started. Oh no, my things fell out the, the bit. There we go. There we go. Hopefully that'll be hopefully that'll be uh okay. Hmm, not quite sure, how about that? Maybe that's better. So let me ask myself a question. Why am I once again filming the car? The truth is my son stole my gaming chair to go play Fortnite. And also, we all, with the kids being home, it's probably the quietest place is in the car. So, I'm going to tell you what I've done today. So, been at work. Uh, my wife gave me a shopping list earlier to go and collect. And I thought, do I want to do that after work or do I want to do it at lunchtime? I thought, tell you what, let's just do it at lunchtime. So, I got all the shopping and... Just where the shop is, coincidentally, is where the baskets he five for a pound are. So I went and I just happened to go past and I seen that glimmer out the corner of your eye. And that glimmer out the corner of your eye gets, sometimes gets me excited. And that was a bit of blue for a Blu-ray case. But usually when, it, usually when that's the case, it's usually like what generic Poundland titles and things like that. So I really didn't have time to look because I was getting the shopping and heading back. So I just grabbed the two Blu-rays that were there and then I grabbed three other titles and I literally only was there for two, three minutes, paid for it and left. And I shall show you what I got. So let's start off with the DVDs. <laughs> Why on earth did I pick this up? Mr. Men and Little Miss by Roger Harris. Mr. Tickle saves the day. They didn't need to say anything more about that. I looked it up on CX to trade in and it didn't have a price. And that was and that's when I stopped looking and I was like, can I be doing this? So I st and I just still had it in my hand when I went to the counter, so there we go. So that's why I got that one. Uh next up I picked up this DVD and I suppose this DVD is quite relevant at the moment, and that's G.I.G. And I don't think this is a terrible film. I want to talk about that for a minute. I've been discussing with uh, my friends online about movies and people hating them just for the hate, the sake of hating them. You know, I think people forget that movies are there to entertain you. Now, if they didn't, you weren't entertained and you didn't like it, then fine. But my aim of a movie is to sit down, watch it and be entertained for an hour. Well, a couple of hours. And... That's all I'm looking for out of a movie. Did it entertain me? Did it keep me keep me captivated throughout the film? Because if it didn't, I'm going to turn it off. And the other thing about that is, people say, oh, people say, say, they point out the negatives of movies all the time. Why don't you just take them for what they are? They're just entertainment. Didn't I like them? Didn't I watch them? Well, didn't I watch it again? But a lot of people seem to hate movies for certain reasons. I just don't get that. But there you go. So. G.I. Jane, I actually uh, think this isn't a, uh, isn't a terrible movie, and I think it's it's okay. The bit that I'm always reminded about is when they eat all the garbage, the the, the food out the bucket that had been served before, and I thought that was quite a good quite a good bit. And uh, Regal Mortensen's in it, who plays the drill instructor, and Demi Moore's in it. And the reason I picked that up, I already have this DVD, but I did have a chance to have a quick look at the disc on this one, and it's absolutely perfect. And I get, I'm pretty sure my one's got scratches on it. But there's absolutely not a mark on this. So I don't think it's ever been watched. So when you are thinking about preserving a collection till you retire and you can get it watched them all, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, then you want to have the best quality disc because there's disc rot out there. And you know what? I don't think I've ever had a Casey disc, disc rot and I'd rather not. But what I think is that if your disc has got a scratch in it or something like that, it's more likely to develop a problem. Now, I don't know where that was being stored. It could have been stored in somebody's garage. It could have been stored in, you know, in a shed. It could have been stored anywhere with no heat and things like that. And the disc might not last. But looking at that disc for 20p to the disc. So what else did I get? This one, I just picked up because it's a nice slip cover. And it is Mr. Jones. James Norton is terrific. A bold, heart-filled movie. And it's... 
He's a Welsh journalist who gained fame after reporting to be the first to reply with Hitler. On leaving the government role, Jones decided to travel to Moscow and attempt to interview Stalin himself. Hmm. I wonder if I've actually got this. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. But if I have, then again, it's this look sealed. I'll be replacing that out for my copy if I have one. If it's scratched or whatever. So that's the that's the three I picked that's the three I picked up on DVD. The next bullet is one of the Blu-rays, and it is Suck Vampires Rock, including mu music from Alice Cooper, Iggy Pop, David Bowie, and the Rolling Stones. So it says the greatest rock and roll vampire comedy ever made. Suck stars rock royalty Alice Cooper, Iggy Pop, along with brilliant performances from Moby Henry and and British Green legend Malcolm McDowell. So, it is clearly a vampire comedy. As I said, I didn't have time to, to, to look at everything when I picked it up. So I just grabbed this one and I, you know what, I've not got that, that might be good. Vampire comedy is only really my thing though. But, doesn't mean it won't sit in my collection, or at least go on one of the poly cases. So there we go. And the last one I picked up, Terry Pratchett's Going Postal. Now, Tesco van version. Uh, it says, visually stunning, it's really another, wor another world that, that all ages will enjoy. So Richard Coyle, David Sushi, Claire Foy, Andrew Saxon, Charles Dance in it. And... Uh, I don't know a lot about Terry Pratchett stuff. I know Discworld and things like that, but I've never seen it. If it's even a film. Why did, what is Terry Pratchett's Discworld? Is it a book? It must be a book. So, faced with a difficult life choice, the hangman who saw Lord Vertis offered to become a, an ad hoc postmaster. And again, I just picked it up because I thought, you know, nice slipcover. Blu-ray, 20p. And if you open it up, it's got some nice discs, and it had a little whatever that is in there. Now, a uh, when I got when I finished work, I thought I'll just scan these, check if they are worth anything, and this one trades in for five pound at CX. So I'm thinking, do I trade it? Do I keep it? If anyone's got it, why? If anyone's got it, then why don't you let me know whether it's worth keeping or not? Terry Pratchett's gone postal. Do you like Charles Dance? Alien Three, Game of Thrones. What else did I just see him in? <laughs> you know what? It, it, it was. It's a, I'm just thinking what film have I seen? I was recently, and it reminded me he's in Space Truckers. Is that a Colonel, Colonel Clunk or something like that, and, and he's got a robotic, a robotic appendage, shall we say? <laughs> that is, oh, that is funny. That's funny. It's Dennis. So that people, space truckers. I really need to get that in my collection. I see. Uh, I seen Larry Boyd picked that up the other day there, and that was that's pretty good. I should get that in my collection. I've seen just watched it quite recently as well. CGI doesn't hold up, but. The uh, rest does. So that's my that's my five pickups from the five for a pound. Got to get five pound out if I trade it in. And I did purchase on Rare Waves one item along with uh, Happy Gilmore, and I paid a little bit more for this one. I think this one was about seven pounds, and it is again not Roy's favourite, but Adam Sandler in the Water Boy. Qual high quality H2O <laughs> but my mama said <laughs> yeah uh, so I actually I actually think this is a, this film's a good time and Henry Winkler is the coach and is it Kathy Bates is the it is Kathy Bates is the mum and the girl in it Vicky 
just so you know, I always I always thought this was quite cool that she's the the girl that plays Dorothy in Return to Oz. If, just an interesting fact if you don't know that. But I thought that was that was great, and this is the Danish release of uh, the the Water Boy, and I think I say I think I said seven pounds for it. Again, I'm not sure if this is out over here. I'm sure Kermit's ghost will let me know because he's always uh, up on these things. So appreciate that. So that is my pickups, and that is it for this video. There was, there was one thing more I was going to say. And it's, uh, you know what, I'll save it for another video. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Hopefully I can turn this off. Goodbye.